Today we'll be looking at two common examples of how to animate the split screen. Although there are only two examples, the idea is really to understand the technique. You know, looking at the parameters that we'll be using, such as position, such as cropping, and how to use keyframing to help us get the effect that we're looking for, to help us get any effect that we want. So without further ado, now let's get started on the first example. In this first example that we're looking at, the first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and set up our initial keyframe uh, for the position parameter and the crop left and the crop right parameters. And then we're just going to move a few frames over to the right and then go ahead and set up our second keyframe for the same set of parameters, crop left, crop right, and a position. But at this point, we want to adjust it so that this video sits perfectly in the right, in the left-hand side of the of the frame. And we're gonna make it uh, make some adjustment there, do a little bit of uh, cropping on the right-hand side so that it kind of takes up the first half of the screen. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring our second video into the timeline, and we're gonna make it align with the first frame from our first video. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up our initial keyframe uh, for this second video for the same set of parameters, uh, position, crop left and crop, uh, crop right. But at this point, we actually want to move this video out of the frame completely because we don't want to show up, we don't want this to show up yet. Okay, so now we're gonna just move a few frames over to the right. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up our second keyframe for the same set of parameters for our second video here, but at this point, we actually want this video to come out uh, and take up the right-hand side of the screen so that this video uh, sits right next to the, uh, the first video that we just did. And I'm gonna make some adjustment here just very quickly, do a little bit of cropping on the left-hand side so that we have the main character there on the screen. So if we go ahead and play this right now, you will see that as the video on the uh, as the first video moves over to the left, the second video uh, will comes into the right hand side perfectly, uh, seamlessly. So this particular way of animating split screen is very commonly used uh, in movies, uh, TV shows, and commercials. In the second example, the first thing we're gonna do is once again go ahead and set up our initial keyframe for position, crop left, and crop right. And at this point, we're just gonna adjust the position actually, so that you know it sits in the first, uh, for a first uh, in the first half of the screen on the left hand side. And then we're gonna move a few frames over to the right, and then we're gonna go ahead and set up our second keyframe for the same set of parameters. And then we're gonna go back to our first keyframe, and we're gonna actually move this video to the bottom and make sure that it stays out of the frame. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bring the second video into the timeline, and we're gonna go ahead and do the, perform the same set of procedures. We're gonna first of all, uh, set up an initial keyframe for position, crop left and crop right. And at this point, we want the video to kind of sit in the second half of the screen uh, on the right-hand side. And then uh, we're just gonna make a few adjustments here um, so that we can see the main character uh, walking in the, uh, in the screen in the video. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna move a few frames over to the right. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up uh, our second uh, keyframe for pretty much the same set of parameters. Uh, position, crop left, and crop right. And then we're gonna go back to our first keyframe and we're gonna bring this all uh, to the top and over uh, and out of the frame. Okay, so if we go ahead and now play this effect, you will notice that both videos will come into the screen at the same time, but they come from different directions. So this makes it a little bit more fun than just having two videos show up, you know, on the left hand and right hand side of the screen at the same time. So um, this is once again, something you are likely to going to see a lot and you uh, used uh, in movies or commercials and what have you. Okay guys, hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.